we're going to take a geometric approach to our 3x3 three three system for the vitamin problem and see what it looks like. Now when we graph the equations we no longer get lines because now we're in three dimensions we actually get planes. So we have 3D axes, we're going to have an X, a Y, and a Z. We're just going to go ahead and plot the planes and see what it looks like. So first let's plot our first equation. So it makes a plane like this. So you see it's got a little bit of a slant there and it's this blue plane. So let's bring in the plane for our second equation and we can see that those intersect and notice they intersect at a line. So that would be a whole bunch, that would be an infinite number of solutions if we have an intersection at a line. That's where we need a third plane in order to get a single point. So we put in our third plane, so these are our three equations plotted together and we can see right there that they're intersecting at a single point. If we rotate it around we can kind of get an idea of what that point looks like. So this is geometrically what's happening a system of three equations with three variables. Now let's go ahead and put in that point and we see that it's the point 0, 3, 3 so we want 0 of vitamin X, 3 of vitamin Y, and 3 of vitamin Z. And so that's the geometric interpretation of a 3x3 three three system.